fun and comic relief. I'm here to introduce Nora Nelson, aka Vinyl Piggy, aka she's been doing this for a while so she knows what she's doing, and listen to her, okay? Thanks. So I'm thinking outside the box right now because it just seems to be what we all need to be doing right now. We need to look at doing things a little differently, safer, slower, and with more empathy. Everybody's trying to get things done quickly because they're all worried about what's gonna to happen tomorrow. We have to wait, we have to slow down, we have to realize that there is a way to do this and we just have to listen to each other. Sales are not going the same speed that they were before where I could do a quickie sale in one or two days and just bang it out and have 100 people come in and they'd buy everything in sight. They were like locusts and they were great. It was great to be able to do that because it got rid of a problem, it sold what we needed to sell, it made money, and it kept people happy. We can't do that anymore. We have to slow it down. I'm doing one person every half hour, and that's just what has to happen. Because if it doesn't happen that way, then we get yelled at. That way we keep everybody happy, the powers that be that are happy. We keep people from pumping into each other. We get reasonable buyers who are ready to put the money down on and also, the good part is they get to go around the house and buy other stuff. So yeah, we have to do it the way that we're told uh, with this virus going on. But having said that, we also can sell the rest of the stuff that's in the house. So work with me on this. We'll make it happen. Have the masks. Have the gloves. If they don't have masks and gloves, they're not allowed in. I do have extra gloves, but it gets expensive. And the gloves are not growing on trees these days. So make sure that people are accountable. If they're not accountable, they're not going to be that careful. And if they're not that careful, you don't want them around you or your business. What this means for you guys as buyers is that instead of saying, ah, she's already had her first day, there's not going to be anything left. Understand, I probably had a total of about 10 people in buying things. So that means there's a whole bunch of stuff still left and that there's no reason to get cranky or attitudinal or think that there's nothing left. There's plenty left. We need you. We want you. Please be patient. Please work with me. And please call me for the information. I'll give you the appointment. You'll have practically a private sale available to you for that half an hour. You'll have fun. You'll have a good time. I'll make money. The customer will get rid of stuff. And everybody's happy. Bob's your uncle. Okay? Let's do it. The customers really are driving me crazy. Just makes me want to scream. <coughs> They're just a bunch of animals. So did you know that we all got together and we had a chat and and this is what we said we said that 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 it's really cool that the humans are doing things because we're really tired sometimes of having to get cuddled and patted and and having to say that you're just wonderful because we love you but you're irritating um and um i think the other one would agree what she said be safe be well be loved. We'll see you soon.